Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Look At- Oh my god, he said it! Welcome to Northern Lion Tries Skull... The Hero Slayer. This is a game, it happens now and then, I bought this... With my own hard-earned... American dollars. It came out on Steam in February, I'm just trying to- I think it was 20, yeah, it's 20 bucks. Canadian, $20.50. And it kind of slipped by my radar. Those of you who watch a lot, you should know that doesn't happen all that often. It is... A 2D, action-packed, roguelite platform. Platformer, I should say. Sometimes, you find yourself in this situation where you're like, Hey, that game looks pretty cool. And then you forget about it. And then you check back two weeks later, and it has 2,500 reviews on Steam. 93% or so of which are positive. So, I was like, you know what? Probably should give this one a look. It's in early access, as you're aware. This sign can't stop me because I don't know how to read. So let's start with the tutorial. I've seen a lot- it, this has been definitely one of the most requested games for me to check out this year. Seems up my alley, I'm interested to see how it works out here. Uh oh, little bone. Excuse me, I didn't give you an Alexander Hamilton times two just to be insulted. Over here. You're safe, I can't move though. Press A to jump, press it twice and you can double jump. My god, he's a master. This is bad, the humans took away his majesty and the senators. Those bad humans who knew that they'd come to attack the demon castle. The other skeletons and I have been following them. I don't have much mana left. You have to save his majesty and the senators. Take this! It's my leg bone! Um, are you sure that's your leg bone, sir? It looks a little bit like LGW Malem 4. You can attack with X, okay? I don't think I've got much time left. Please save his majesty and the, 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 the senators, okay? Just mashing. I see we got a little two-piece combo there. You can jump down by pressing down and A. Alright. Tutorial complete. No video game can- Oh my god! Okay, hey, he's up. What about LT? Hit him with the- hit him with the head throw! Yo! Now we're talking. Please, save the witch. She has been saved. Skull, you survived the attack. These iron bars are strong enough to seal my mana. Carleon must have some really good mages. The skeleton guard passed by here not long ago. I told him to go on and save the demon king first. Some of the guards still tried to save me, only to be slain by the enemy. I'm afraid the skeleton guard might not be able to save his majesty on their own. Press B to dash. <laughs> Whoa, I see why people like this game. I love it. I love when a game has a story, but also has to tutorialize. We need your help. The guard captain has been slain. Press RT to parry. Lady Witch, you're safe. I see, Little Bone, you saved her. This must be your first time fighting humans. You did very well. I'm so ashamed. I'm all that's left of the skeleton guard. But you were the strongest skeleton in our castle. Who did this to you? Who was it, Meow? Adventurers? Or was it the hero? It wasn't humans, it was the ogres. Ogres, why? Even their senators were abducted by Carleon. It was strange, they had some black stones embedded in their body and they were out of control! Those nasty humans must have done something to them. Little Bone, as, infuri as infuriating as it is to say, I can't move. Press the Y button at the opportune, opportune moment to regain your stamina. Take my skull with you. I'll pour all my mana into it. Use it to fight and save our people. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. Yo. Yo, that's cool, though. We can swap head to head, I think. Woo! Hit him with a firestorm. Oh, baby. I love- I've said this before, but probably not for, honestly, like several years. I love when games open by giving you an insane amount of power and then take it away from you. It gives you a little glimpse of what could be possible. Look, one of our ogres standing in front of the castle. Meow. Meow there, ogre. We have to save our popol from the humans. Okay. Hit him with one of these. Hit him with one of these. Mission accomplished. Hit him with one of these. Easy money. You know what? Hit him with one of these. Hit him with one, uh, maybe don't throw your head at this guy. Just wait it out, hit him with one of these. Oh, baby! How about one of these? 
Bait, bait him. There you go. Hit him with one of these. <laughs> you are dealing with a roguelite master. I don't know if you're aware of that, but it's the honest to goodness truth. Kobe, we got him. He's been freed from the curse. This must be one of those ogres that the guard captain told us about. His oh, look at the belt, though. <laughs> I can sense incredible energy in that black stone. It's no wonder our demons have lost their minds. Well, he looks okay for now, though. See ya. Oh, no! <laughs> Hero? Useless. Losing the mere skeletons. Demon scum. This doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fair. Okay, Skull. You're awake. What do you mean? You just saw me. It's not normal for undead, but what you saw now must have been a dream. Listen to me carefully. The humans and Carleon are in the middle of a civil war, so we were caught by surprise when they attacked. With Carleon's unexpected attack, the return of the retired first hero and the mysterious Dark Quartz, something's going on. I'd gladly drop a huge meteor on Carleon Castle right now. But I need to recover strength from my injuries. I must ask you to save his majesty. I hate to burden such a small skeleton like you, but I have no other choice. Please go save his majesty, the senators, uh, representatives from the house, and others of our kind. Find out why the humans suddenly want to destroy us. Take this. It's a piece of paper. Just put that in the old thoracic cavity. It's a scroll imbued with dimensional magic. You can use it to store things that you find on your journey. Press the hamburger menu to check the items you have. Now go and come back safe and sound. I'm like, what's the hamburger button? It's start, okay. Skull throwing. Throw your skull. Rebone. When detached, teleport your body to your skull. Easy. You can do this. You can do this. Oh! Now we're talking, baby. Oh, that one we can't. We don't do it too fast. All right, I'm ready. Seems cool so far. An expedited tutorial. Ain't nothing wrong with that. One one, the deep woods. I'm prepared. All right. Don't think we're blocking anything. Oh my god. Don't think we're blocking anything on the screen right now. Don't forget to dash. That's my one piece of advice for myself. Oh, baby. That's the good stuff. You catch him in an infinite combo. What the heck is this down here? Nobody knows. Just keep bashing for the time being. The bashing... It's working. Okay, there are spike traps. Beware the spike traps. Oh, hey, what are you doing there? You doing a little stomping attack? Hey, you attack me through... 2.5 dimensions? I don't support it. I don't support this. Look at that. I'll have you know I have played Hollow Knight. You wouldn't know it based on my performance here, but it's the honest to goodness truth. Can you not be maybe... Oh, don't jump! Walk. Slowly. We've made it through the first room. Okay, I'm starting to very slowly... Oh, a little loot, huh? Minotaur. Movement speed minus 10, max HP plus 10. Skulls, sorry, skills inflict damage on surrounding enemies for 3 seconds, and it also gives you trample and bull uppercut. Leap forward to perform a downward strike. Oh my god! Okay, so we're very strong. Seems cool. We're definitely slower, there's no doubt about that. Woo! Oh, hold on. Yo, that'll work. I'm a fan of these things. Then, hit him with one of these. This seems really, really polished so far. Even though it's in early access, admittedly. What do you got for me there? One gold, thank you. Send them. How about a little... Oh, don't stop doing the spike thing. It almost feels, and don't get ridiculous here. 
Just be cool for a second. For me right now, it almost feels a little bit like... Sure, I understand the Hollow Knight comparison. Can't kill him, huh? I understand... Uh, to some extent, I did see some people in reviews comparing this to, like, Dead Cells. I do get it. Um, even though I don't think it's very Dead cells -y so far. But, I, you know, that could change. It almost feels a little bit more... Maybe this is just, like, the music talking for me. It almost feels a little bit, like, Cave Story-ish. I don't mean to invoke the name of the Messiah. Pixel. Without having, uh, you know, adequate reasoning. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? You have no physical armor, sir. I will defeat you. I am interested to see if we got more roguelike elements here, though. So far, I like the fact that, we, like, the number of different uh, heads that we seem to be, be able to use and the ability to have two equipped at once. It's got me thinking. It's got my interest. Oops. It's got my attention. And I'm also waiting to see what else you got going on here. What do we use the gold for? What do we use the purple crystals for? As of right now, I am confused. Well, not confused, just unaware. That's a bomb? Hmm. What do you think about doing something like this? Yeah, that'll work. Hey, ay, 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 hold on. A good, good move, but now you got a lot of, you got a lot of potential problems. You got 31 HP. Are we healing room to room? Because I feel like uh, I should be closer to death than I am. Not being able to actually do, like, a jump attack up here is a little... Or not a jump attack, but an attack in a horizontal direction instead of straight down. Okay, I don't think you can be killed. Better learn that lesson now, I suppose. Than later. A purple door. Let me guess, that's a shop. It is a shop indeed. <clears throat> You're gonna make me meow, aren't you? Whoa, a little skeleton. Excuse me, look at me! I've been hitting 531. I've heard some people accidentally drift into this place, but a skeleton? Anyway, welcome. This is your first time here, right? This is a subspace in the demon world that my ancestors created a long time ago. For now, it's being used as a shelter from Car Carleon's invasion. You're looking for the demon king. Perhaps you should talk to the other experts in the shelter. Good luck finding him. I'm gonna go eat some fish now. Meow bye. There he goes. He do be eaten, though. So we can't buy anything, but we can speak to you. Nice to meet you. I could have shown you much better things if it weren't for that ogre. Despite his stupid looks, he always manages to get a hold of things before I can. I heard he's been missing since he was taken to Carleon. Is that true? What are you doing up here? Become invincible for one second? I don't... Well, the quintessence has existed as long as us demons. I'm the fourth generation quintessence craftsman. My grandson will be the fifth. My son left to protect the Demon King, but he hasn't returned yet. Hello, friend. Could you hear me? Listen up. Yesterday, I took that lunchbox the orcs had prepared for me to take to the battlefield. But when I faced those Carleon jerks, I got so excited I completely forgot about eating it. Then I met the hero. He shot these spirit swords that were golden as sunlight. I bet he's learned magic somewhere. I know Carleon has three different magic academies. Harvard, Yale, and the University of Phoenix Online. The witch told me that these academies are always crowded with students. It must be tough being a student. They're no different from civilians. Being different is not the same thing as being wrong. What do you think? I'm just having a normal conversation at the store. Hey, your weight, have your fill. You can't fight on an empty stomach. Sorry, I forgot your body's not meant to hold anything. That being said, I do need to purchase some food. Thank you so much for the food. And uh, we will move onwards, I suppose. So I, controversial subject. Ah, we get health for killing enemies. I see. Oh, don't step on that. Controversial subject, maybe? I think we will... Oh, don't hit the freaking bramble. We will probably do a lot better at staying alive if we can keep from getting hit so much. No, run. You're toasted, brother. You're toasted. Thanks for the HP. It was a desperate need. I'm losing, like, almost all of my HP on every single room. 
This is a swap. This is a hot swap situation. Honestly, I don't mind. Uh, oh, hello. Hello uh, to you as well. I don't mind being this guy. You know, just default skull. Never mind. I'm starting to think that that was not a great decision. Please return me to the castle. Oh, there's more. Select your traits carefully. They can't be reset. So it, it does. There's the dead cell style, like permanent progression. Um, increases skill attack. Decreases swap cooldown. Increases max HP. Can we get it, or is this like tech tree style? You think they can't be reset? Okay, no. I think you just get them all. Accelerate skill cooldown. Let's we'll start by getting a level of attack up for each of these. And then, I mean, dude, I gotta be honest with you. I really like the idea of just cranking on basic attack as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, so far we've only played for 16 minutes. This seems really cool, though. I, I see why people are excited. It is not the first... That's probably a disguise loading screen. You think it's a disguise loading screen? You can't sneak a disguise loading screen by me. Careful. Um... I have played roguelites before that have this kind of style, if you know what I mean. All I mean by that is, uh, you know, 2D platform style roguelites where, you know, each room is kind of its own beast. But I don't think I've... Mostly, games that have this kind of control system... Uh, usually end up being more like a Metroidvania or even like a linear action adventure. Like, you know, Hollow Knight, Kunai, you know, there's a lot of examples even recently. Forgone, which we played like a couple of weeks ago. Maybe like a week ago at this point. Oh, I thought maybe we'd get an item right off the bat. I was mistaken. Stop that. I think we just, we could probably dodge that one, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta tank the hit, I suppose. You're lucky that you're, like, nearly unhittable. I will say, like, right off, it's, it's early. I don't want to say anything I'm gonna regret. Be haunted by it for years, for example. Um, like that time that I said the uh, Holy Mantle, no, the Holy Water is better than Polyphemus. Look, we're getting into some seriously insular inside jokes. If you don't know who I am and my history on this platform, you might not find that too uh, noteworthy. And that's okay. You might not find it too humorous. However, um, you know, compared to a lot of the roguelite-ish stuff that I've played this year, I definitely do feel... This feels like a maybe the best combination of like accessible, but also like not so minimalistic as to be like a I don't want to call it like a the other games button mashers necessarily, but you might kind of understand what I mean by that. Like I like I played another game. I I can't even remember at this point what it was called. Mostly because I'm in the midst of trying not to lose my life here. But um, it was a an action platformer roguelite. Um, but it had very, very, very minimalist mechanics. It was within the past, like, three months. Um, this feels like that. I should probably use my dash, huh? This feels like that, but polished to a greater extent, to be honest. Here's our item. Uh, and, and with substantial more depth as well. Rider. This skull adds the skill Heckbike. Movement speed goes up. Increase attack speed by up to 30%. Casts a flame curtain when you swap. Ride the bike. Throws a chain, damaging enemies and pulling them behind you. Oh, baby, we're Ghost Rider. Alright. He's got a sense of style, too. I like that. Let's go. Honestly, very convenient. The fact that every uh, head that we've had so far, of which, let's admit, we've only had two, I guess, but the fact that every single one of them has been uh, markedly different in its moveset is also, like, I don't even want to call it, like, cool. It's almost, like, compulsory to get an ex- oh, yeah, Come on, dude. 
This has got to give us like a shield or something. S stop it, please. Yeah, that does, you can see on the bottom, it gives us some kind of benefit there. This is a perfect heck bike situation. Everybody can see it. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. This seems very neat. 280, we can actually afford something. Generates 20 gold per Carleon item you have upon changing maps. Mummy. Oh, we maybe just missed an item last time? <laughs> Mummy. Makes you immune to trap damage. So now we got two. Can't afford some food. Why not? We are slower with the mummy, but that's okay. I would really... Uh, the mummy has a gun? The mummy has a gun. I repeat, this is not a drill. I feel like, for sure, bare minimum, please get up there. Bare minimum, we have to fight the first boss, you know? Look at that, we're actually stringing together some pretty sweet combos here. That's kind of my protocol for every video of this sort, though. It's like, if we don't beat the first boss, there's embarrassment there. Having a ranged weapon is going to help us out a great deal. If I could offer any roguelite agnostic advice, no matter which roguelite you're playing, this advice tends to be true. Beautiful. A ranged weapon, when you're still new to the game, highly recommended. It can only serve you well. Beautiful heck bike situation. You love to see it, dude. So you, here's what you do. You ride your motorcycle, you shoot your gun. We're going to be a very cool video game guy. Seems like his head is also a grenade. Also do one of those real quick. This is a combo. This is a combo. I see it. I like it. I'm hip. I'm with it. I'm working it. I'm putting my thing down, flipping it, and reversing it. Where are you going? Get over here, by the way. Thank you for the gold. That red fire equals boss fight. Yo, this is the new Smash character. One, two, three, one, two, three. I should do this too. One, two, three, four. Here comes the hero. Good, good. I finished like this and then, yes, that's me. I'm the hero. Sorry, no handshakes. We've got an outbreak. How about an autograph? Tee hee. This would even impress the first hero. I'm tired of being a puppet. Who are you? What's a skeleton doing here? Good. I could use a bit of practice. Be grateful that you'll be featured on the front page of the next heroic adventure. Phew, I can do this. Well, guess what, buddy? I've got a freaking gun, dude. You know what else I got? That's right. Cool motorcycle. Sweet little motorcycle thing going on. It's gonna be closer than I'd like to admit. He's powered up. He's cut me in half. He's... If God is my witness, he has split me in twain. <laughs> Alright. Put me back to the castle. I believe we can beat that first boss. I believe we didn't put down our finest effort there, to be honest with you. I really want basic attack. Just crank on that bad boy right there. That's, that's what you're looking for. I want to touch an enemy and turn him to ash. And again... There's a few things in a Northern Lion Tries you should know. If I'm not talking about the game that much, it's a good sign about how much I like the game. No doubt about that. If I play longer, if I have the opportunity to stop 25 minutes in and I keep playing, is the greatest compliment you can give a game. Excuse me, there is a sorcerer here. Please do not give me real difficult enemies until I, uh, until I have gotten my first head. That's not the way to get ahead in life. He'll never be the head of a major corporation, etc., etc. Nope. I'm inclined to say, honestly, like, just from the half hour we've played so far, this is one of my favorite games. It's early. I want to be clear, it's early. This is one of my favorite Northern Lion Tries games from 2020 so far. 
Especially considering it's in early access. This has a lot of potential right now. What on earth is happening? This doesn't strike you as maybe being a little bit tricky uh, for the first room, second room. Hit the barrel. I, dude, honestly, that was a mess. I don't even know what to say about that one. Apparently we did earn... Oh no, that's total Dark Quartz earned. That was, that was just honestly procedural generation gone terribly wrong. Maybe there was a spawner I wasn't paying attention to? I don't know. Anyway, take me down. This comes highly recommended. Based on my very limited experience so far. Sydney? Okay, this looks very familiar. So you, you guys probably get buffed by the shrine. Until the shrine's broken, right? That's got to be what's happening here. And then after I break it, I get buffed by the shrine. There you go. That's better. Please just all get stuck in the infinite combo. You love to see it. Oh! Poison flowers? I guess those, uh, the pink trees just exist to kind of annoy you. Get you to, to create some misdirection and some stealth-based elements. Oh, you tried. You failed. The lesson is, never try. Not today. Look at that. Takes a little bit sometimes to start noticing the, the animations that are enemy attacks. We did a great job on that one, in my opinion. Take me in. Maybe take out these guys before Big Daddy comes. Uh, phrasing. Now it's just an NES boss. I have no fear. Oh. An interior level. What a world. Go ahead. Do oh, you know what? I saw the red light there. And I said, Roxanne, you don't have to turn that on. But she wasn't listening. She wasn't listening. All she wanted to do was party all night. Green room. 29th, well, 2018's best picture. What do you got for me here? It's the mummy. We already know how to handle the mummy. It's got a gun and a grenade launcher. I think this could be a pretty good support class for us. Try one of these. Oh, baby. I like having a, an infinite, infinite projectile instead of only having the head. Very nice. Dude, I can live with this. You're not taking very much damage, but I can live with this because in like two seconds, we just do that. I did get hit. I'm embarrassed, but we're going to make it through this together. Oh, beautiful. I mean, keep in mind, when we need melee, we can always change. Like, we got one enemy. Hit him with one of those. Really, to be honest with you, I tried to duck. Is there a duck in the game? I now know that there is not. <laughs> At the start, I did not know that, okay? So times change. Trying to get better about using the the swapping abilities as well, because it actually seems to be like super nice and important. Nope. No 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 no. Okay, dude, honestly, I feel way more ready than ever before. So we get a big movement speed buff when we swap to the mummy? That's not like that impressive of a of an ability. Like swapping to the other ability seems uh or swapping to the the melee focus class seems way more useful for us, but I can live with this. I just love that it's a mummy with a gun. There's just something highly aesthetic about that. Did take a little chip damage there. I'm modestly embarrassed. Good dash, good dash. You're doing good work. We're putting it together. The systems, this is always the case. The systems are more complex than they appear, you know, on first glance having played for four minutes and being like, I get it, but I still, you can't stop me from saying it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it every time. We actually have enough to buy some real items. 
Increases attack speed and movement speed by a bit. Double jumping drops bombs on the enemies below. Honestly, that sounds very interesting to me. Can we also afford a cheap bit of food? Oh, what the heck, dude? Headless isn't here anymore. Where did he go? It's a different boss, maybe? Um, focus, will you? You know what? It's a good time to bust out the old gun. Okay, in this situation, we need to dash. I'm not dashing very well. Dashing is going to be a very principal part of what we got going on here. We're going to die in one hit. That's a super. We know that's a super now. What is that? Everyone buck up. Get in there, dude. You're an evil skeleton. I know. Is that a problem? What is this? No! We lived with one HP. You're not incorporeal during your dash. That one is completely my bad. Yo, this game is sweet though. We're gonna stop it right here. Um, but this this is very cool. I could definitely see this coming back in a more formal series like Context. Again, available on Steam, it's roughly 20 bucks. Canadian, probably around 18 American, 1750 maybe. Um, and one of the most impressive games I played for a Northern Lion tries this year for sure. Very fun, very good game uh, in my you know half hour of playing it so far and interested to play more in the future without a doubt. For now, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal, of course. It's the best way to support the video. The best way to support me, the video creator, is to subscribe. We got some cool subscriber milestones coming up. Uh, would love to play some Super Smash Brothers for you at 815,000 subscribers imminently. And of course, if you enjoy what you saw from the game, go check it out. I'll link the Steam page in the video description below. Support good indie games. This appears to be one. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, I'll see you next time, hopefully. See ya!